What up guys, it's Mike. Hey, it's Dan. We've been talking a lot about creepos, perverts, uh, all this crazy stuff, but yep. we wanted to bring you something really interesting. And I found this story, this is kind of old, this is from last year. But oh, I still really? wanted to, yeah, it's from 2015. Oh man. But I still wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like it's a good positive Dude. story. It, oh man, I'm kind of sad now because I, I thought it, would, it happened just now. No, no. Because of, because of all the horrible, horrible stuff that's been happening in the news and I felt like this restored my faith in humanity, which it still does. Yeah, but it's still only a year ago. It's still only a year ago. Not even, it's October 2015, yeah, but so we'll, half a year ago. Yeah, and like I didn't know about it, so probably a lot of you guys didn't know about it, so we want to share this with you guys and this is a really awesome story. Yes, yeah, so this is happening in the UK. A girl named Ellie Farmfield, she was traveling on the tube. Or <laughs> they somewhere. call it the underground or the tube? tube? I don't know. A tube is like a straw. Anyway, <laughs> so she was traveling and then she, she all of a sudden she doesn't remember anything. Yeah. Because she fell ill and she yeah. doesn't remember anything after that. Right. So she she actually had a seizure. Yeah. On she the didn't train. know. She, she didn't, didn't know. know. No. So she wakes up with 10 pounds not, money. Money, not, money. Not, not weight. Not weight. 10 yeah. pounds money and a note, a handwritten note yeah. by a gentleman. So uh, she basically, this note, it was really, it was a really awesome story. This guy, Tom, basically saw her uh, like basically fall down. Mm -hmm. So he took her out of the train, he left her money, and he called, he called I think 14, 14. people on her phone to let, let him know what happened. Yeah. And she, he basically was like, I gotta go, and sorry I don't have any more money, but this is, here's 10 pounds to perk you up with the coffee, and uh, you know, you, you, she, he told her what happened, and then basically, like you know, she, she was fine. Yeah. And that's awesome because in a lot of parts of the world, you know, people don't even wait for women to fall unconscious. They'll literally abduct them, you know, shove them in a trunk in front of people. People won't even help them if they see them get kidnapped. I mean, we're talking about some, you know, like crazy yeah, stuff here. We talk a lot of stories about all the <sighs> bad behaviors of men towards women. Yeah. But this is like a very chivalrous, very gentleman-like, um, basically going way beyond, way um, beyond what he had to do. Way beyond. Right? I, mean, I mean, usually you just you can call uh, some for some help and be like, yeah, this person, I don't know. And, then, and that's it, you can, yeah. you can go. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you right now, in, in New York, people will be like, oh, uh, can somebody should, they'll be like, Oh man, all right, yeah, let's bring her out of here. Just call the police. All right, I gotta go. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is so like, so heartwarming that this, I mean, takes takes a lot of effort and time and you gotta go through the phone. I mean, some people, I mean, look, if, if those of you are like, you shouldn't have done that, no, like, be quiet, okay? Like, well, how else are you gonna, that's the first thing you should do. You gotta let people know. Well, call the authorities, first of all, call the ambulance and then let people, let her loved ones and friends know that their per the person is here. Yeah, and you know what I'm and it's not like he left her alone. He he told her like medical help is on the way. It's uh, it's on its way. So he yeah. already called it, it, the medical staff for her, and also there's train staff there, so she's not alone. Yeah. So he did everything. You know, it's not like he wrote her a note, he left her ten bucks, and took off. Right. But there was people already there with her. Yeah. So basically, you know, and this note was basically like also you know kind of explaining. Uh, what he did personally, so she, I mean, she, she, he, he could have not called anybody, he could have not left her 10, 10 pounds, right. but he did all this other stuff, so right. the note explains what happens, you know, it's kind of weird if she wakes up right. and someone calls her and be like, I heard you had a seizure, and she'd be like, what? Yeah, exactly. What happened? Or so she... he had to leave the note to explain all that, but what a, what a, what an awesome guy, kind of anonymous because there's 20,000 Toms in the world, like you can't really find this person, so he didn't do it out of any like, Try to be, you know what I like. Also liked about this note, he wrote like, "I left you with ten pounds. Sorry, I didn't have any more money." Yeah, because he would have given her that. <laughs> what, what I what I really like about this as well is there was no like, "Oh, by the way, my name is Tom Smith. Call me sometime." Like, there's no ulterior motive, right? There, and actually, another the second part of the story is that she was so touched, this girl, yeah, that she she posted this to Facebook. Of course, it got thousands of shares. She was trying to find Tom to thank him. Of course, as she should. I don't, did she find him? I don't know, because there's no updates on the story after that. There was no, are you kidding me? No, no updates on the story I mean, in, in the world of, I mean, does this guy just live under a tree? Well, look, if he, well, he doesn't want to be found. That's then, true, like, too. What's he, I mean, it's not like there's a picture of him people can be like, oh, no. that's Tom, you know? No, I mean, he left no, no email, nothing. He literally, 
like literally was just a, the definition of a good Samaritan. Yeah. You know, like he could have been like, he could have even left an email. You know what was, what was kind of crazy? I was reading some of the comments. Yeah. Like, all right, she's, I mean, she's a attractive. She's an attractive person, That's right. right? She's attractive. So yeah. somebody could be like, I'm Tom. Oh, you're right. Somebody could have been like, oh, hey, Ellie, um, I'm back. Yeah. You're trying to, f yo, but here's the thing. Yeah. She would know that's a fake because there'd be 10 other Toms in line. You know what I mean? Because as I, soon as I'm, I'm actually two Toms, thinking someone might have tried this. I, I'm thinking too. They're like, I'm, yeah, I'm Tom. Yeah, I'm thinking a hundred people might have tried yo, this. This is a movie. This is a Hollywood movie. movie. This is a Hollywood movie. movie. That, because the plot would be she's got to decipher. There is, okay, there's the real Tom in there. Yeah. And the real Tom is like, War, no, I'm no, no, the no. real there's, Tom. No, the real Tom never comes out. The, okay, um, so it's all the fake Toms? No, no, no. The, all the fake Tom. no, the Hollywood movie would be okay. the fake Toms message her. Okay. But then she randomly meets a guy she's like, like that goes to her coffee shop every single day or something. Okay. And then he's the real Tom, but he doesn't say anything to her. But then they, they get like, Wait. but then they, okay. they're like, they're like growing closer, and she doesn't know that's the Tom. No, no, no. Yeah, that's creepo. And no, no, no. no, no and that's then, creepo. And then, and then the Tom, the real Tom, sees like all this fake Tom going after her, and then he doesn't say anything because he's like, as long as she's happy, or whatever. I don't know. That's the that, movie. I don't know about that. That's and then a at little... the end she realizes, and then at the end she's she oh 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 at the end he writes her like like uh, like he signs a signature on a check, and then she's like what. What is this? Your time. Nah, yo, you just Hollywood. You just brought it back. You oh saved it, yo. I'll tell you right now. I, I was I was a little skeptical up until the last part. I was a little skeptical. That's how, that's how it happens. But this is how I know you, you, you watch too many romantic movies because that literally is the way that she would have found out. Is he he was ready? It would be like on her wedding day. She'd be like yeah. she'd be like I'm marrying this Tom yeah, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And he's like writing something. Yeah. Or it's her wedding gift. Yeah. And she, oh, it's the wedding gift. Yeah. And then no, she, no, it can't be the wedding gift. No, no. But before she actually gets married, she peeks over and she goes, "I've seen this handwriting before." And then like she runs away. War, war. He hands her a farewell note. Oh, he hands her a farewell yeah. note. Yeah. And then she's yeah. like, "I've seen this yeah, before." She's like, oh my god. And then the Tom. memories of the note. Dude, oh, you should write. You should, you should write a I script. Should. Right? Nicholas Sparks, call me. If we, if we see this movie get written, we yeah. know that we know that somebody watched our show, took our idea. Yeah, so you guys be better like get props. Alright? Alright. Don't be like Jack Mine and think it's okay to steal people's stuff. But let us know your thoughts on the story and write your own fairy tale for how this could have ended. Thanks for watching guys. Later. See you.